Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Sliced Lime. Fallout 4 released yesterday and I've sunk a number of hours into it. It is a very good game and I only have two complaints, one being the obvious console controls that have been just blatantly remapped into PC controls without regards for it, whether it actually makes good controls or not. The second is the lack of a field of view control. The engine though has a field of view setting, it's just not exposed in the settings menu, so in this video I'm going to show you how to change the field of view and what effect it has. There's a small tool made by Bilago called the Fallout 4 config tool, that's what you're gonna need. It is hosted on Nexus mods, but there seems to be some trouble with the downloads from there right now. But there's also a direct download link, you can find both the links in the video description. Now this tool will try to find your game, if it can't find your game you'll have to provide it with the folder where your game is installed. If you got it through Steam and don't know where that is, you can right click Fallout 4, go into Properties, then Local Files and Browse Local Files that will show you an explorer window showing you where the game is on your drive. Now give that to the program and you will be up and running. Now once you're up and running you have tweaks, resolution and settings. Settings is just the stuff that you already gave it, like the location of the init file and the location of the game. Now what it actually does is write an initialization file for you. It doesn't mod your game in any way, it just writes down the settings. The most interesting one is the first page, the tweaks page. It has a field of view field and you can set it to whatever you like. The default is 70, it's a measure in degrees. And during this video you will be seeing examples of how some different field of view values look and feel in the game in like the normal first person mode, third person mode and in zoomed in mode. Higher fields of view put more stuff onto your screen, makes everything seem a bit more distant but also makes everything slightly distorted. So the higher field of view you put, the more distortion you get, but also the more stuff you get onto the screen. You should also note that the higher fields of view do require more performance, so you might get lower frame rates. Conversely, lower fields of view makes everything feel closer, everything is more zoomed in, and of course less distorted. That's that, I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please help out and leave a like on the video. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you very much for watching, bye bye.